So now we're gonna look at the four parameters of functionality in the soil microbiome. So the first one that we look at is pathogen pressure. We look at bactericide agents, insecticide agents, fungicide agents, nematicide agents in the soil uh, to see their quantity and ability to protect the soil from certain pathogens that, uh, or stresses that fall in those categories. Uh, we'll report on specific pathogens that we see are at risk and then the level at which we believe they're at risk, whether it's very low or very high. Uh, after that, we look at plant growth regulating hormones. So that's your auxin, cytokine, and gibberellin. Uh, auxin and cytokine are more important towards the beginning of the plant life cycle, whereas gibberellin uh, is more associated with reproduction, uh, can be more associated with yields when we're looking at plants and crops. So we'll look at the levels of those and the microbes that are present in the soil that are able to unlock them and deliver them to the plant uh, and sort of stimulate the production in the plant as well. The third parameter that we monitor closely is stress adaptation. So we'll look at a series of secondary metabolites and hormones uh, that we look at about seven that will deliver information about the plant's ability to protect itself from stress, whether that is resistance to heavy metal uptake, um, drought pressure, pathogen pressure, salinity. Uh, we will look at different uh, hormones and uh, secondary metabolites like exopolysaccharide production. We'll look at soil texture, uh, the ability for the soil to keep its structure uh, in the face of these uh, different stresses. And then when we're talking about our hormones, we'll look at ACC deaminase. Uh, that's a really important hormone for stress adaptation and a few more. And the last parameter that we look at when we're talking about functionality is nutrient movement. So we look at our macronutrients, our carbon, nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, as well as our micronutrients. And we will look at the quantity of microbes that we have that are able to unlock them, make them plant available. Uh, and for our macronutrients, we really dig in and we look at our gain pathways and our loss pathways. So uh, similar to a chemical fertility test where we say, this is how much carbon you have, this is how much nitrogen you have, uh, quantified present in the soil, we're telling you, the cycle, the microbes that we're seeing in the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, this is where we're gaining and this is how much we're losing. For example, in carbon, we're looking at fermentation, methanogenesis, what are the lost pathways and how can they be mitigated with different management practices. So uh, that about sums up the four parameters that we consider when talking about the functionality of the soil microbiome.